What's going on everyone? This is Obscure Edge here and we're back with a tips, tricks, and tutorial video and this time we're going to be playing Wraith and we are actually going to be playing a couple of friends of mine and a couple of people off the Evolve Community page. Uh, if you haven't joined it yet, make sure to do so. You could get games a lot easier and uh, th for the most part everyone's a friendly bunch. So We're going to start off, we're going to be picking the Wraith as you all know because uh, I have yet to do the Wraith. As many may, may know, um, you want to I personally always do three in a decoy right away because you want to be able to feed and have no trouble and then increase feeding speed as I usually do. <clears throat> everyone uses decoy, we all know how it works and everyone bitches about the decoy so pick the decoy as your first thing. It helps you feed, it helps you get out of the, the traps and stuff like that from the trapper, the barriers and stuff and you could easily pop a pop a decoy and then hide in a corner and they'll kill the decoy and think they missed you even if you are in the bubble and then they'll take the bubble down and then you could start running and then they'll be like fuck there he is and we actually had him in there but it's too late so uh, yeah let's get right into this so three in a decoy in the beginning um, I do feeding speed perk is up to you it's personal preference uh, as you guys can see is uh, feeding speed is really quick I'm gonna try to evolve within the first three minutes but uh, it depends on the wildlife so we'll see how this goes They're playing as Griffin, and I, me personally, I, I don't like him. I think he's the worst trapper, but that's just me. I think Maggie's really good for Daisy, and Abe's good because you could tra uh, hit the monsters and track the monster with uh, his tracking dart gun. Alrighty. So this map, actually, I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to go to the back corner. The reason why I go to the back corner here, uh, instead of going across the map like I usually do, this this area over here has like so much wildlife usually, and it's really good to start off your kills. Like I said, in the first three minutes I'm going to try to stage. We'll see how this goes though. I fucking hate those things, seriously. They're good for food though, that's the thing. We got cannibal birds, which is okay. We're gonna grab the perk one first. Come here, you little bastard. The hunters are gonna be on my ass any second. <clears throat> As you can see, the. Oh, that's a really fucking good perk. As you can see, we're just constantly, constantly feeding so quick. coming over here it's good to come over here because uh, you have the river monster so you could actually evolve near it it'll be uh, it'll actually help you out a lot so there you go that was probably within three minutes or so definitely really quick and we're just gonna get a fair amount of distance over here I'm gonna get behind that rock I did scare birds there shit but it's alright <clears throat> the wraith is so fast you really don't have to worry about shit like that you could just be so quick. A lot of people hate her and say she's overpowered, but uh, I don't know. To me, it's like if you have a really good team, the Wraith could be a pretty easy kill. You just gotta stay on top, and mainly you gotta have like one of the best trappers around because landing landing Wraith in a bubble is really rough, and which you kind of need to do in the beginning, especially before she even gets stage two. And the reason why that is is because. Um, when she gets supernova, and usually everyone picks decoy in the beginning, I can guarantee that. And now with supernova, I actually have a way to defend myself and not just decoy around. A lot of people use the decoy as attacking, I kind of use it just as a decoy. Um, <clears throat> and that's just, it, you can play the decoy a bunch of ways, a lot of people spam the shit out of the bun as well. We can see the hunters down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this, uh, decoy and I'm gonna go the opposite way here I'm actually gonna backtrack around them because they're gonna think I went um, they're gonna think I went that way oh what the fuck I was sneaking you piece of shit it's all right now that we backtracked over here we'll see what's been left behind by these guys free food it's always good no strings attached Oh, well, that was not fucking... Those had some strings attached, apparently, because they fucking had cannibal birds. 
So as you can see, we're about to stage up, and I think we're about like not even five minutes into the game, and I'm already stage three. No sign of the hunters. I'm gonna check again. Yeah, there's there's nothing. Oh, I seen one in the distance, really far. Um, a lot of people use abduction, but because we're gonna be fighting in a generator room instead of outdoors, um, the war blast will benefit you pretty well. I'm gonna try to sneak attack this last guy in the back here. I think they left the trapper to die, or I think they were rushing to the power relay and they literally left the trapper for left for dead pretty much is what just happened there. We're gonna go ahead and beat up Griffin. And we're gonna feed on him. I think they're running Kara, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. I can see a mine there. I really don't wanna get hit by that mine. I'm gonna try to stay right still. I'm gonna pop my decoy and let him go take out the mine. What you did, thank you very much. It doesn't take a lot to get... What? What is going on here? What is this team doing? You're splitting up with the Wraith? You're nuts. What is this? The Warp Blast could be used to get around really well, which is good. Um... But mainly in the rooms, it's just highly effective because you could do that nice explosive damage. We're going to go ahead and sneak attack again. Marcos about to jump down. We're going to pop the decoy, actually. So that way, he goes and pops his shield. We're going to get him close. And we're going to go ahead and sneak attack him as well. Like I said, you could really...